Welcome back. It is the fourth annual RHI Giving Day. One of my favorite days of the whole year. I'm very passionate and I love what I do. My name is Mindy Fox. I'm the executive director of the RHI Foundation. And what I have with me today is a very special person. This is a past chairman of the RHI Foundation back when I first joined the RHI Foundation and still a very proud member of the RHI Foundation as a board member at large, longtime donor and supporter, a very good friend of RHI, Bill Winningham. And also we have a past patient, very special past patient is with us, Julie Shannon. Thank you so much, both of you, for being here. Let's start uh, with our sponsorship recognition. I want to recognize, because this day would not be possible without all of our sponsors, our miracle sponsors. So IU Health and St. Vincent Ascension, they are our parent organization. RHI is co-owned by both IU Health and St. Vincent Ascension, so it's because of them and their miracle sponsorship that this giving day is brought to you. Also, we have a special hourly sponsor, so this hour, this interview is brought to you by Delta Dental. And this is, I think, their third year sponsoring um, our giving day. So, longtime sponsors of the RHI Giving Day, our friends at Delta Dental, thank you very much. So, Bill, let's start with you. Um, how did you first come to know RHI and share briefly your story? of how you came to be the chairman of the RHI Foundation and still being a board member. How, what's your journey with RHI? Well, thank you, Mindy, first of all. I had known a little bit about RHI. I'm an attorney and represent people who've been injured. So I knew how RHI treated people, but I didn't know a lot about RHI. I had a case involving a badly brain injured client and I needed to get that person tested to prove what the deficiencies were from the brain injuries. So I talked to a neuropsychologist who heads up the program here, uh, Dr. Lance Trexler. And Dr. Trexler did the evaluation, did a great job, wrote a wonderful report, and really explained what the problems were and what could be done to help this person down the road. So that helped us get the case settled and, and that really helped our client out. So I later said to Lance, I said, Lance, you did such a fabulous job. We, I know we paid you, but is there something that we could do to recognize your efforts? And he said, yes, there's this thing that we have going at RHI called the Dr. Lisa Thompson Family Education Center. Uh, I won't tell the whole Dr. Thompson story, you may have heard it already. But in essence, it's to help people who had a brain injury and they're being integrated back into society. It's to help them, but more importantly, their family members to recognize the signs of depression and to make sure that these persons don't regress like unfortunately Dr. Thompson did. So our firm became a contributor. Uh, with that, I got on the RHI board. I became president for a few years. Just recognizing what a difference this hospital can make in the lives of people. And also recognizing that I think a lot of people don't know very much about RHI. So I thought that it was important to help spread the, uh, spread the word about this wonderful hospital and, uh, and what they do to help everybody in our community. So that's my story now. More importantly though, we have uh, Julie Shannon here. Julie is, has been a client of our law firm. Uh, Julie had a very bad accident a little over a year ago, had terrible injuries. She came to RHI and was treated here. We thought it might be nice for Julie to tell her story about her experience at RHI. So Julie, by way of background, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your family. Hi. <laughs> Um, I, um, I have uh, two daughters, one's in college and one's a junior in high school, um, with a husband, and uh, extended family, great support system. I've lived in Indianapolis for about 20 years. I used to work for a church, um, Northminster Presbyterian, and now I'm at um, North Central High School as a school social worker. So Julie, you are like a lot of people, uh, life is going along fine, you have a wonderful family, great job, you're healthy, Julie's very active fitness instructor and, and those types of things before this happened and then you know in an instant life changed what, what happened with you uh, well a girlfriend and I were coming back from a retreat um, on I-65 and we were um, rear-ended full speed by a semi truck mm -hmm. uh, four cars were involved um, very fortunate there were no fatalities in this accident and when I look at some pictures I didn't see all the pictures <laughs> but when I see some of the pictures from the car um, we're just really really fortunate to survive that accident. Um, I was airlifted 
uh, by the met by a you know helicopter um, <laughs> and um, just uh, you know rushed to treatment was at St. Vincent's and then for about a week intensive care and then uh, you know regular unit or orthopedic unit and then transferred here to RHI and I was here for two weeks exactly and so when you got to RHI Julie what was your condition and what were the things they were focused on helping you with um, a lot of focus on my arm it was sh like shattered and I had to have uh, the metal put in there a big rod <laughs> and um, halfway through my time here the hardware failure fail it failed so the uh, OTs and PTs kind of had to work with that but I was also um, my pelvis was fractured in five places five ribs um, uh, vertebrae, and then I also had like uh, vestibular uh, vertigo, which is off something that I discussed, you know, that the physical therapist treated here while I was here. Uh, and so um, I could, I, I was in a wheelchair, so I had to adapt to that. Uh, my family had to learn to transfer me. Um, I, you know, so I was pretty immobile when I was here um, and had to kind of learn I had to learn to do the wheelchair with one leg. <laughs> and so it was all about um, gaining strength and mobility to be able to go home in the wheelchair. And then eventually when I could bear weight, I came back and they worked with me um, to start walking again. So. What would you say overall, Julie, your experience was like at RHI? RHI it was a very, very positive experience. Um, some people don't know this. I think that there's, there's physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, I mean, it's just a huge gamut of treatment. Um, but there's also recreational therapists and their job was to get me to think about reintegration back into uh, my life before the accident um, and how I was gonna adapt when I got home. Uh, also, just the staff was very kind and compassionate. Um, I can remember the first few nights I was you know, very, there's the whole emotional side of everything, you know, your, your life uh, is radically changed and then you're dependent on so many people. Um, I had one CNA that would take a long time to help me shower <laughs> and we bonded <laughs> and um, I learned that her husband was a truck driver. So that kind of helped me because I was, I had a lot of obviously not so great positive feelings about truck drivers, but um, they were just really open and caring and loving staff. They all, and RHI also let me bring my dog in and have lots of visitors. So uh, it's just a very amazing um, community, just down from the, I mean, the scheduling staff was great too. So uh, I just, when I came back, I tried to show my thanks and appreciation. How are you doing now? I feel like I'm doing pretty well. I do have good days and bad days. Um, not as many bad days anymore. So, and I, I uh, sleep better. Still trying to get back to some of the uh, strength and mobility that I had previous, but um, I'm I'm just really really grateful uh, to have this special gift called life, you know, and just all the aspects of that. <laughs> Mindy, you got a couple of things you'd like to ask uh, Julie? I do. So many of the people that watch this and you know join us for Giving Day are donors. They're mm -hmm. people who have supported RHI and the foundation. Um, because as a nonprofit hospital, many of our patients um, we treat and we provide the rehab services that they need so badly, and they don't have medication. Um, so it's charity care. We do almost a million dollars a year in charity care. So what would you say to them, to the people who donate or are thinking about donating, that make all this happen through philanthropy? I would say that your dollars are well spent. <laughs> it's an investment in lives. Um, I'm very fortunate. I had good insurance. I had a very active support system around me, but not everybody is so fortunate. And when your when your life changes like that, you're you are dependent on so many others to help you. Uh, and so to fund a place that that values that, that values the person, the individual, their own situation, their progress, um, it's just a, a tremendous return on your investment, you know? It really is, very well said. So if you're even thinking about it, if you've donated in the past, please donate again. Click the link right now, don't wait, join us. Together we can help patients like Julie and all the patients yet to come. Thank you.